If you have students in your classroom that speak multiple languages where English is not their first language, I am going to show you something that is pretty revolutionary that's going to streamline the translation process, decrease the cognitive load for your students who are trying to translate in their head or in some other way from uh, English into their own language. It's just gonna make the whole world a better, more inclusive, an enjoyable place to be. So for this tutorial, two things that you're going to need to follow along with is first your computer. That's kind of a staple here. And the second is actually your phone. You're going to need to download an app from the app store or wherever you get your apps. And that app is called, it is called the Microsoft Translator app. Here's what it looks like in the Apple app store. I think the icon is the same in any other app store but we want to do this Microsoft Translator. I'll go ahead and open it. I've already downloaded it, so you'll need to download this app to your device. And initially, after you set it up, this is the first little translation screen. Looks pretty familiar. It's a classic translating app. Um, so what it does is it'll show on the bottom of the screen closest to me, ready to translate in my language. Um, then it will also show on the top of the screen, ready to translate in the language that I've selected, but you'll notice it's flipped upside down. That's so we are encouraging uh, these face-to-face -face conversations rather than, you know, when you use like Google Translate, for example, you like type it up and then you like show that person and then they, they have to type it and you're like kind of reading over their shoulder to see what's going on. This is just me and you talking. I'm gonna talk, it's gonna translate, and this is going to be a more natural feeling conversation. Hey, so let's give this a test run and I'll show you how quick this actually is. This is live uh, and it does it very rapidly. So here we go. Just click this little microphone and we're going. So it's gonna translate exactly what I'm saying. I don't need to really slow down. I can have a normal conversation at my normal conversation speed and it's translating with like 99% accuracy. So it even got my little like in there. So yeah, it's doing it. It's doing its job and it's amazing and very fast. But this isn't even the main thing that I wanted to show you. What I want to show you today is how to set up a Microsoft Translator room. Let me give you a use case for this particular feature. In my class, I have a couple of students that speak Spanish as their primary language. And I also have in that same class period a student who speaks Russian as their primary language. And I can't just bop around from person to person and, and have this my phone out, even though this is very fast, I can't repeat myself in three different languages inside of a class period. It's just not practical. So to solve that problem, while I'm delivering instruction, while I'm giving you know instructions for things, maybe it's a lecture with a PowerPoint, um, instead of having someone translate for them where that student, that translating student is, is kind of using up their brain space to translate, things are gonna get missed rather than printing off my entire lecture as a transcript that the students will read that I might kind of go off the cuff from time to time and they might not even have that on the transcript I give them. This solves the problem, gives them a live translation in any language they want. So let's look on how we can set this up. So I'm gonna open my, open my app again. And over here at the top right of the screen, there's a little person icon with a plus. We wanna tap that icon to move to the chat room screen. At the bottom of the screen, all you need to do is hit start. And there it is. We've created a room and it gives us a five letter code at the top and that code is unique each time you set up a room. Now, for your students to get access to this room, you need to direct them to translator.microsoft.com. I'll put a link to that in the video description so you can find it easier. I just like to put that in uh, Canvas, maybe right on my homepage, so the students can log into Canvas, click on that button, and open up the translator space. I'll write the five letter code for the day on the whiteboard and they'll just put that in. They can do it on their own. So here's what it looks like. This is translator.microsoft.com. I encourage you to have your students do this on their Chromebooks rather than using their phones. 
just helps to keep everything a little more streamlined. So what they'll do here is they're going to enter the five letter conversation code, their name, their language. So we'll choose to keep it Spanish for this example. But you also see the speech recognition region. This is for when your students are going to be offering their voice to the conversation, where it will recognize their speech. And though the written language is probably pretty similar from, you know, Spain to Ecuador to Peru, the spoken language is going to be a little bit different from time to time. So that's why it's important to select this. So for this example, let's go to Ecuador. We'll go to Ecuador for this example. Okay, so all they need to do is just join the conversation. Um, oh, we got to fill out the, the field. Okay, let's let's bop back. Let's get this conversation code. So from the app to get the code, there's a little plus person down here at the bottom right now. So tap on him. And here's the code. For other participants, you can have them scan if you have a class set of iPads, for example. Um, but I use Chromebooks, and so I'll just take this code and write this on the whiteboard. So we'll come over to our screen here and we'll type this in. Our code is K-U-Z-I-E. It will always be letters to avoid the confusion from zero to O. Always going to be letters. Always going to be capital. And I don't even have caps off on and it just automatically types them in capital. All right, now we can join the conversation. Let's do it. So here's what the conversation window looks like. You'll see here are the people that are in the conversation. I joined, the test student joined, and, um, and that's kind of the way it goes. But it's not translating. You don't see anything popping up on the screen. That's because the default on the phone is to have the microphone muted. So make sure that you tap this little microphone before you start talking so that it will capture your voice and put that translated into the translation room. Let's see how it's doing. So I've turned it on and you see just as before, it's cap capturing what I'm saying really accurately, really quickly. I don't have to slow down and students can read along as I'm speaking and just really never miss a beat. Um, so I think this is an excellent, excellent way to, to teach students that speak more than one language where English isn't their primary language. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get back to the class discussion scenario that I was kind of alluding to earlier. Let's say we're having a class discussion, your students are following along and they're invested in the lesson that you're teaching. You ask a question, they know the answer. Traditionally, they'll be pretty nervous to share their answer. But because of speech recognition, and this is a two-way street, they can unmute their microphone and they can now speak. And what it will say is everything they're speaking and it will translate it back into English for me on my phone. Now I'm not speaking Spanish, and so it's kind of doing this weird, awkward, uh, I don't really know, it's not translating, it's not getting it accurate because it thinks I'm speaking Spanish. Um, but when it is Spanish, it's just as accurate as when I was speaking English. So I'll give my, my Spanish skills, they're very limited, so we'll see how this translates but I'm gonna switch back to my phone so you can see what that looks like on the teacher side. Um, what you'll see down on the bottom is this little micro or speaker. So if I tap on this, it will translate everything and speak it out loud. I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna speak a very simple phrase in Spanish that I know, and we'll see how this works. Hola, como esta? Um, but yeah, hello, how are you? That's that's the Spanish phrase I know really well. And it translates it perfectly, even though my accent is really terrible. Um, but yeah, this is this tool is going to be revolutionary for us. It's going to allow you to communicate with your students and more importantly, allow them to more accurately share their thoughts their voice and to communicate what they understand and know with you. 
Um, I hope, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you can find some great use and application for it. Again, the links to download the app and to get to the website are in the video description. And if you have questions, definitely feel free to reach out in the comments or shoot me an email. And uh, yeah, there's lots of other things that this app can do that we just didn't have time to go over. So take it easy and we will see you next time.